friends. Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm so excited that you're here with me today on the Making Mommy Move show. On this episode, we're going to talk about communicating value, how to build value, and the importance of communicating it. Because I know I will pay whatever the price as long as it meets the needs that I have and helps me get to my goal quicker. As a mom, we value a few things in our life, right? We value speed, we value efficiency, and we value our time. We will spend any amount of money. We will spend more money to order something on Amazon because it'll come to our doorstep in one or two days. We don't even have to leave the house and we get what we wanted immediately. I would pay for shipping for that. I would pay three more dollars for the item. I would pay 10 more dollars for the item because of the convenience. It's meeting a need that I have and I value that. Think about that in your business, in your life. If you're a mompreneur like me, you probably value just about those same things in your business also. So if you're like me and you're creating podcasts, you're going to value somebody that can get you your podcast edited the same day or the next day so that you don't have to submit episodes so far in advance. You're going to pay more for that. If you're like me and you're building a business and let's say that you meet a really particular need, you're going to pay more for that. Why do we limit ourselves? Why do we cast these limiting beliefs on ourselves that somebody else wouldn't pay our prices? Why does that matter to us if we know our worth? As a floral designer, I know what I bring to the table. The attention that I give my clients is next level if you ask any of them. They love how quickly I respond to their questions. They love that I meet all of their needs, that I explain everything, that they can meet with me as often as they need because they feel valued. They feel like they matter. (laughs) And when you're planning a wedding, you're stressed out enough, you want somebody to guide you through it. Wouldn't you pay extra money for that? Let's say you're hiring an interior designer, somebody that has a process carved out in front of them that they know exactly what they're doing and what looks good in your house and with your window spacing and your style. You're going to pay somebody so much more money if they can come into your house, they can show you this is what we're going to do. This is what how it's going to happen. You don't have to lift a finger. Everything's covered under me. You're going to pay somebody so much more money to do that than somebody that comes in and says, you need to order these things and put it in this space in this type of direction. And if you can't find this, maybe you could use this because then you have to think. And I don't want to have to think. I'm already tired, right? You're going to pay somebody so much more money if they can handle it for you. You want that service done for you, right? You want that done for you service. Now, when it comes to communicating that value, you need to think about your client's needs. Are they somebody that values money or are they somebody that values time? Do they value, do they think it's important that you handle everything because they know you're the professional to get done quickly and then they don't have to stress about it? Or are they somebody that wants the cheapest thing just to have something done, but they don't mind doing the work? Think about that type of client that you're catering to so that you know how to best communicate with them. Maybe you're not a good fit for the client that just wants the cheapest thing. Maybe you know that that's not the service you provide, but I can recommend somebody for you. Why are you taking it to heart when somebody can't afford you? The right client will afford you. The right client will be begging to work with you. They'll book you right on the spot on the phone without even having a proposal meeting because they know they want to work with you. They'll put the deposit down right now so that you are able to work with them, that your date doesn't get filled up, that your calendar is available, and that you're able to sit one-on-one with them to help them figure out their needs and how you're going to solve them. Don't get wrapped up in your limiting beliefs or the fact that you're not your client because the people that value you, the service that you're providing, and how it's going to solve their problem, when you communicate that, They'll buy it every single time. Think about this next time that you're having a sales call, the next time that you're talking to somebody that doesn't really align with your belief system. Maybe you've got a friend that isn't really a friend because you guys just don't get along very well. (laughs) Think about the right people you want to be surrounding yourself with, people that value you and your time. If you're meeting up with somebody and they don't value the time, they don't even give you the courtesy call to show up or tell you that they're not coming, I wouldn't be surrounding myself with them. I have a few people in my life that do that and it's my biggest pet peeve. Ask yourself, what's important to you? What do you value? Think about your own spending habits when you're a consumer. Will you pay any dollar it takes to get whatever your problem is solved, especially quickly and professionally without it going wrong? Have that mindset next time you're going into your sales meeting or building your course or listing something for sale. Think about all of the experience that you have, everything. List it out. Write it down. Have you gone to school for five years? Have you taken $1,500 worth of workshops? Have you taken $50,000 worth of workshops? How many tools do you have? How many supplies do you have? Do you know how to use those tools? Are you proficient in them? What kind of work experience do you have? 
What have you gone through in your life that makes you aligned with them? Add a dollar amount to every single one of those items and tally it up. I bet you it's far greater than whatever you're charging. That's what they're getting every time that they hire you. Maybe you'll see, maybe I need to up my rates a little bit, or maybe you'll feel that much more confident in everything that you're selling because you know the value that you're bringing and how it's going to solve their problems and why you're the best person to work with them. I hope that this was really helpful for you as we are all navigating growing our side hustles and our businesses and creating a life for ourselves. Maybe you take that with you to your full-time job if that's what you love and you're able to use it to help make more money in that business. Having confidence and appreciating the value that you bring is going to make you do so much more. I am so happy for you and the moves that you're making in your life and your business. And if you love this episode, share it with me. Share your biggest takeaway, how you're going to communicate value the experience that you bring to whatever you're selling. I can't wait to share it with my friends and they'll follow you back and I can't wait. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.